The Red Dragon K552-R, standing for rainbow. This is the stock lighting configuration of this keyboard. I just want to emphasize that this keyboard is the rainbow variant. So you'll notice that each row of keys is statically assigned to a specific color and I could not get that to change. And I think that's because this is the rainbow version of this keyboard. On the top, you have your function and media keys. The next row down, you have your number and L keys. What I thought was interesting about the L keys is that if you hold down function and hit L1, it statically assigns specific keys on the keyboard to be lit up. And these go all the way up to eight, nine, and then nine shuts everything off. And if you wanna bring back the keyboard back to the stock lighting configuration, all you do is hold down the function button and hit number one on the insert key. And that brings back the keyboard to its stock lighting configuration. You have six keys that all deal with function. They're labeled one, two, three, four, five, and six on top of the insert, home, page up, delete, end, and page down button. You also have the up and down arrows that adjust the brightness and also turn off the keyboard lighting. All right, you have six buttons right here that all have to do with mode, and I have them each in my own predefined category. Number one is what I would categorize as always on. When you hit the function, when you hold down function and hit one insert, it actually goes through a strobe. And when you hold down function and tap the plus or minus sign, it speeds or slows the animation. So now you'll notice that it speeds up when you hold down function and hit the plus sign. And then when you tap the minus sign, it slows everything down. So let's go back to the stock lighting configuration and move on to the next mode. The next mode on the home key is number two, and I would categorize that as being the negative mode, and I'll show you what that means right now. So when you hold down function two, it turns everything off, but when you go to type, everything's animated. And again, with that animation, if you slow it down, you hold down the function key and hit the minus key, that animation is slowed down. And when you hold down function and hit the plus, it speeds up. See how fast this is going now? Look at how crazy fast that's going. We go back to the stock configuration and we go back to this mode where it's in negative mode. If you were to hit it again, now it's in the negative mode, but when you type, each individual key lights up as you type it. If you were to hold down the function and hit this once more, now, everything's not lit up, but when you type a key, the whole entire row lights up. The next mode is, it just lights up a patch of keys right around the key that you're pressing. So if we go over to page up, which is number three over here, and hit the function key, but first I'm gonna go back to the stock lighting configuration. Now if we do function page up, this actually goes into the next categorization that I would call animated. Cause it's not anything that's being done negatively in the first category or always on, it's an animation that is always on and does not change. So if I go through and do function page up again, it goes into a different animation. Function page up once more, a different animation. The next function of the page up key is always lit, but when you go to hit a key, it waves to the left and right, only in like a diamond pattern. If we go to number four on delete, this is wave. See how it looks like it's waving from left to right? 
You can speed this up and slow it down again with the plus and minus key. Slowing it down. If we hit that function number four again on the delete key, it goes into a different type of wave. The next categorization on the end key, which is lit up what I would call number five, but it's the LR key. It's not five, five is over here. This one turns everything off. And then when you press the button, nothing happens. It just turns everything off. So if I do that again, let's see what happens again. Now, it seems to memorize the keys that you type and they stay on. That's pretty cool. If we do function end again on the LR key, nothing. So this is almost like you use this mode to unlock and lock the keys that you want animated. So that's pretty cool. You can custom light up the keys that you want by holding down function and hitting the end key. So now it unlocks it so you can statically assign whatever keys you want lit up. That's pretty cool. I just learned that now while taping this video. So let's go back to the stock lighting configuration again. And let's move over to the next category, which I would call random. Here's random, and this is page down that's also numbered five. We can speed it up and slow it down as with any other mode. Now it's sped up, Hit slow it down. Let's hit function, page down again. Here's a different random mode. Function, page down. A different random mode. Function, page down. Again, a different random mode. So these are all the modes I found on the keyboard, all the functionality on the keyboard that I could find. If you think I missed anything, feel free to leave a comment in the comment section below. I'd be very interested to read them. Here's a quick demonstration of what the keys sound like. These are not Cherry MX Blue keys. These are called Otamu keys, which are like Cherry MX Blue, but they're just equivalent. They are not actually Cherry MX Blue keys. And I personally cannot tell the difference, and I think this is still a great value for the money for a mechanical keyboard. I've unboxed and reviewed a decent amount of gaming combo peripheral sets, keyboards, and mice, headsets over the past year, and Red Dragon always seems to spoil me when it comes to price to performance. Coming in at $36, this mechanical keyboard is an excellent value for the money.